So I am um, armed with um, secateurs. Um, we will go on a little pruning spray. Um, likes of the Echinops there. I suppose uh, they're still green like. I would leave them. I would tend to leave herbaceous and get it back at the beginning of the year. So anything wants to hide in there in the winter time like pest, pest or um, uh, um, favourable, no, helper, whatever you want to call <laughs> Bugs that are good for the garden. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I tend to leave them uh, for them to hide in. Um, we've still got asters in flower here. Can you see them there? Here we go. Um, bamboo. Um, I moved my bird feeder out of there. I think it's been used. Um, the, I'm not sure what this is, but anyway, I'm going to be quite brutal with it. It's still in leaf, but I'm going to take it back. So I, I grew this, well, I took these young plants from some of them I worked for. Um, I'm making big piles of um, uh, what you call it, plants in the garden because I'm putting a, a shredder in end of the year, beginning of next year to um, shred it all up and then keep the um, chippings and let them mature for a year and then put them in the garden. So, I might just leave the rest of that. You can, you can do the, like selective pruning as well. We, we are pruning something that, but to uh, like make it look as if it's not actually been pruned. Um, also, this border here, I did a little bit of a tidy up in here because I'm trying to make more, I'm trying to make space, I'm trying to move space from my raised beds, the veggie beds, and put them in here. And I planted the salis in here, it seems to have um, it seems to have been okay. Uh, the roses, um, they said they prune the roses uh, by quarter um, for the winter time to stop them getting rocked about, but I don't usually normally do that, I just leave them. Depends. And it's entirely up yourself, like. Um, I'm just going to lock the door. So, yeah, uh, in her basis, it's up to you. You can prune it now or you can leave it. I'm going to get my coffee. Uh, I've got a few more things to plant. I want to plant the um, balm and the catmint lupins and planted in there in the um, cephalaria is planted in there as well. Aye. Funny old weather. Yeah, October, and you'd think it would be really cold in that, and it's not. It's actually been quite mild. Look at there, that's a mess. Just sort that out. Um, my sunflowers. Coffee there. You can see. Uh, you can see up there or not. Can you see the primary? Taking a little bit of a battering in this, uh, here we go, high wind. We're all right, I told Bernard, still got, we really had, not only had any cold snaps to um, kill them off. And the um, marigolds are still flowering. And look, flocks that I grew from seed, uh, but there is actually some, um, Dianthus in there and they get them out because they're not liking it. Flocks, I think it's going to flower soon. Um, I'm quite pleased with that. I tried to go in with three before and it didn't really work. Uh, Cosmos, again, it's still in flower but it shouldn't be. We should be having cold weather and uh, just kill, kill them off, but that's not happening. Global warming. 
well that doesn't exist that seat um, right um, I'm gonna go walk just quick I've got bird layer down here bird layers the finished floor in there's finished flooring now you know you can prune it but then it's prune anything that's going to be flooring in the spring a spring flower because otherwise you'll lose the flowers in it Just as a reference to Budlia, you can be quite severe on Budlias. I'm not going to be because this gives a bit of screening from the houses. But you see that? I'm going to take that back to there. That's where it's over, and that will encourage it to come away next year. I'm going to leave that line there because I can do that. Go. One more. Go. How far back you prune this tile up yourself? Right. Um, ah, rosemary. I love, I love the smell of rosemary. Oh yeah, gorgeous. I'm not going into the greenness because it's a mess. I need to tidy the greeners up and think about um, uh, sewing stuff. October. Mm. You could get away with sewing broad beans right now, as long as you can keep them protected over the winter time, like. Um, geranium. It's still flowering, that's one to put on curtains from one, the main ones. Uh, these were the lobelia that I got in the shop. I'm sorry for themselves, like. Ah, just gulls on where it was. Um, oh, look there. Nigella, loving a mist, still flowing as well. I'm quite surprised, actually. Oh, look, there's the one of the flowers. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Right, okay, I'm going to get on. Catch you later. Cheers now. Bye.